All right, guys, this is it. Warzone's back and Almaz are awaits, so it's time to drop in. Whether you're checking out the terminal and high-rise throwbacks from the OG Modern Warfare 2, or you're still missing classic slide cancelling, one thing we all want to keep in the past is lag. Luckily, that's where we come in. We're going to explain how to completely eliminate lag on your network. Say goodbye to ping spikes, pack a loss, and say hello to sweet, sweet exfil montages. Let's get into it. is going to be your map, trust me. So there are two main reasons why you'll lag while playing Warzone being connected to a faraway server and other things in your home hogging your bandwidth. We have a solution to both of those problems, so if those kind of scenarios sound familiar, you're going to want to watch to the end. Let's start by fixing distance servers. When you search for a game in Warzone, the matchmaking system allocates you a server based on three factors. Your skill level, aka the big bad SBMM, how long you've been waiting for a lobby, and your distance from other players as well as the server. Okay, cool, but you're probably wondering, why would I ever connect to a faraway server? Well, put simply, matchmaking can't be perfect. Most of the time, the matchmaking system can't perfectly balance those three factors, leading to a compromise in one of them. For example, if the game's struggling to find players around your skill level and you've been waiting a long time for a lobby, your location starts to become a bit less important. What this all means is that you may be connected to a faraway server to get you into a game quicker. The problem with this is that the further away a server is, the further data has to travel from your PC or console. This results in a large increase in ping, obviously not what we want. Now, we can't bring servers closer to you, but NetDuma do have a solution and it's called Duma OS. By using Duma OS, you can take control of your network and get rid of lag. If you don't have Duma OS yet, take a look at how we make lag a thing of the past, and if you are a Duma OS user, well, this one's for you. The Geofilter feature is the only way to control exactly what servers you play on when you're searching for a game. Remember that server issue we were just talking about? Well, this is the feature that'll get you right. By creating a filter radius around your location, the Geofilter blocks connection to servers outside of it, making sure you only connect to local low ping servers every single game. But how are you supposed to know what these local and low ping servers are? The ping heat map feature tells you exactly that. Just select your game from the drop down list and you'll see the map populate with server locations. We've also color coded each server with your ping values so it's easy to see which server to connect to because we're nice like that. All right, so now we know the best servers for us to connect to. Let's include them in the Geofilter. Add your device and select Call of Duty profile from the list. We want filtering mode to be enabled, so just click continue. Using the slider, we can adjust the radius of our filter to include the servers from ping heat map. If you want to be even more accurate, switching to polygon mode lets you draw custom filter shapes around the servers instead. If we search for a game now, you'll see servers outside of our Geofilter getting blocked, which means we only connect to a low ping nearby server. All right, let's say we're playing on local servers now, but we're still having a bad time. And let's be real, it couldn't possibly be the cracked gameplay you're currently witnessing. When that happens, the usual thing getting in the way is other devices or applications hogging your connection. It's a common misconception that you need high-speed internet for gaming. We have a video covering that topic that you can check out with the on-screen card now, but if you don't have time, we'll run you through the basics. Spoilers, the answer is pretty much no. See, gaming uses very little bandwidth, even on a good connection. What's way more important is stability. You've probably experienced packet loss or lag spikes when someone else in your home starts a big download or their yearly streaming of the entire MCU in chronological order. The packet loss isn't because your connection isn't fast enough for gaming, it's because activities like downloads and streaming absolutely devour your bandwidth. When that happens, queues start building up on your network and your gaming traffic ends up stuck. Duma OS has another powerful feature that can stop this happening called QoS, and it makes sure whatever is important to you stays in front of the queue. The congestion control tool in QoS allows you to turn a section of your total bandwidth into a fast lane for lag sensitive traffic like gaming. By lowering the sliders to around 70%, the network's bandwidth is limited slightly, but allows your gaming traffic to always be first in the queue. You don't need to switch congestion control off whenever you're done playing though. Congestion control can be set to auto enable when gaming traffic is identified on your network, meaning your network is running at 100% bandwidth other than when you're gaming, which I have no doubt in my mind is only a small and sensible amount of the day. You can have even more control over what's prioritized on your network with bandwidth allocation. Using the sliders, you can decide which activities or devices get priority on the network, meaning nothing gets in the way of your gaming session. That pretty much wraps up the vid. Given that this video released after Warzone 2 dropped and is currently available to play this very second, I'm proud of you for finding the time to sit through the whole five minutes. If you don't already have Duma OS and you want in, the best way to get it is through our very own R2 gaming router. As a way of saying thanks for watching, you can use WZ2VID at checkout to get 5% off your order. We hope this guide helped you fix your lag. The only thing we need to apologize for is that you'll have to find something else to blame when you lose a 1v1. We usually just call that guy a sweat. Till next time.